guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be all about hair health so I'm gonna share with you guys how I clarify my hair how I strengthen it and how I moisturize I am also going to be sharing some alternative products so you guys have options so that if you don't want to use what I'm using in the video then you have some other choices and then I'm going to finish it by styling all right so if you've watched my last videos you know that I did a flat twist out I left it in for five days and then I refreshed that twist out and headed in for another five days so my hair right now is super dirty so I have sectioned it and I'm just using this wide tooth comb to detangle all right so now that my hair is ready to be cleansed I'm going to soak it in some water and use this Jamaican black castor oil the castor oil is really incredible for growth the apple cider vinegar in there is going to really help to just remove impurities it has peppermint oil in there too so it's going to be moisturizing but it's going to be very soothing for the scalp and a good thing about a clarifying shampoo is that it's really good for your hair it's really good for your scalp as well and it just feels really good now these are some alternatives some I've used some I have not but they're all different products, different price points for you guys to check out too. So that if you're not a huge fan of the Shea Moisture, then you have options. All right, so once my hair feels nice and clean, I'm going to rinse out the products and you just wanna make sure that you're thorough about it and then I'm going to go in to treating it. Now I'm using this G protein treatment. I like to put it in a spray bottle because it's a lot easier to apply that way. And what this is going to do is my hair is color treated and at the ends, I still have a little bit of damage where the blonde used to be. So this is going to help to penetrate my hair it's a pretty strong protein treatment and it's going to help to fill in any protein gaps and really just strengthen the hair now a protein treatment you always want to follow up with a moisturizer so that's why this is a two-step the first step is the protein treatment and then the second step is going to be moisturizing and you want to balance them out I generally do a protein treatment once a month it's recommended that you do them four to six weeks every four to six weeks all right so once my hair is thoroughly coated what I'm gonna do is you can either sit under a blow dryer or you can use a blow dryer you just don't want to manipulate your hair too much at this point because it's going to harden so I'm really just not touching my hair very much with the blow dryer or my hands but you want to make sure that the treatment gets dry and heat will help to expedite that process all right so my hair is super stiff at this point so what I'm gonna do is just rinse the product out and then we are going to balance it now remember with protein treatments you're going to strengthen the hair so after you strengthen the hair you want to balance it by adding moisture so this is the part two, the step two of this protein treatment these two actually go hand in hand now stay tuned like I said I am going to be showing some other protein treatments that have different levels of protein so if you don't want to use anything that is this strong then I will be providing those alternatives so that you have you know some other choices of brands to check out but I love it I put this all throughout my hair and I left it in for five minutes and it just really helps to just soften immediately because your hair is a little stiff after you protein treatment after you do a protein treatment so it's also good for scalp as well so make sure you massage your scalp while you're doing this all right so once that is all good and done I'm gonna rinse the product out and then I'm going in with some more moisture I'm gonna go in with the triple threat deep conditioner from we dad I love this product I've been using it since the summer since I had blonde hair and it's just really incredible it's just boosting moisture now you can use this if you have low porosity hair you can totally use this and sit under a dryer for 15 minutes you can sleep in it you can leave it in I left it in for 15 minutes you only have to leave it in for two 
but it's just going to just really help to just boost my moisture level and that's what I want I want hair the more moisture that you when your hair is strong it's strong and then you add the moisture and it's going to just help to give you the elasticity which in turn gives you healthy hair so you have that balance so that your hair grows it's soft it's smooth it has elasticity and you know I love 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 this deep conditioner all right so make sure you check out those options and then I'm going to rinse this out and then we are going to go into styling all right so I just purchased these pink perm rods and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this curl cream this mousse and this oil and these are my cocktail for this style I did like I said I always do this I always pre cocktail a little section first just to make sure that the products blend and I'm going to just apply that on every section and then wrap the perm rod on my hair. You always wanna make sure that you detangle the sections before you roll it in a perm rod because your hair is gonna be a lot smoother and your curls are going to come out defined and soft and you know you won't have any like frizzy pieces. All right, so I always apply the cream first, then I'll do the mousse and then I set it with the oil and the oil is really going to help to retain moisture the Jamaican black castor oil promotes hair growth the cream is going to moisturize and foams are incredible for perm rods I always choose foams over gels because they're lighter weight they'll give you a hold without weighing down your hair so if you're worried about products being too heavy then this is like the perfect balance for me I love all three of these products all right, so I air dried my hair overnight. It took about 15 hours for my hair to fully dry. And I'm going to just unravel the curl and then separate strand by strand until every strand is nice and separated. And then I finally purchased a pick, you guys. My first time with a pick. I'm going to go ahead and pick my hair at the roots just to give me some volume and just extend and stretch my hair out and you guys that is it for this tutorial all right so i want you guys to comment below and let me know if this video was helpful for you and if it was make sure y'all are subscribed to my channel and make sure you thumbs up and share this video all right you guys my cocktail video will be up on saturday and i will see you in my next video